Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello student, how are you today? I hope you're fine. And now, meet me again, Miss Wiska, in Civic Social and Ethics Studies. Ya, yeah. lama kita tidak berjumpa ya, tidak bersua. Uh, dari mulai sebelum lebaran, kemudian lebaran dan liburkan, lalu anak-anak uh, melaksanakan PAT ya. Penilaian akhir tahun, dan sekarang kita agak sedikit bersantai. Kita masih sekolah, online, dan anak-anak akan miss ajak untuk mempelajari sesuatu yang berbeda dari pelajaran sipil. Oke, okay, are you ready? Oke, okay, thank you, and check it out. Ini dia. Miss Wiska akan ajak anak-anak untuk pergi field trip, ya, go to the zoo, ya. Nah, kali ini kita akan melihat sesuatu yang berbeda. Anak-anak akan Miss ajak pergi field trip. Apa itu field trip? Ada yang pernah waktu kelas, waktu TK dulu? Pasti ya, field trip itu kita mengunjungi atau kita belajar ke suatu tempat bersama teman-teman nanti di sana kita akan mendapatkan banyak sekali pengalaman oke okay? are you ready ya yeah. nah nanti Miss Yuska akan sedikit menjelaskan worksheet yang akan anak-anak kerjakan setelah melihat video videonya ada setelah penjelasan dari Miss berikut ini oke okay? ini dia Ya, ini dia worksheetnya. Nah, anak-anak nanti setelah ini akan menyaksikan atau akan pergi bersama-sama, field trip bersama-sama, meskipun secara virtual ya, virtual itu kita menontonnya dari dari video. Oke, tapi tetap uh, rasanya seperti pergi field trip beneran ya, our virtual field trip. Nanti setelah anak-anak selesai men Nonton videonya, kemudian watch the video about virtual field trip. After that, choose three of your favorite animal. Anak-anak bisa menentukan tiga tema yang atau tiga binatang ya, hewan yang menjadi kesukaan kamu yang ada tadi di uh, videonya. Oke, okay? and then you can draw on this box and explain why you choose that. Animals, ya. Explainnya apa ya? Explainnya menjelaskan apa maksudnya? Misalnya menjelaskannya pakai gambar saja deh, uh, atau menjelaskannya pakai sedikit tulisan. Misalnya the first one, you like hmm, uh, monkey, monyet ya, suka monyet. Karena apa? Because the monkey is funny, karena monyetnya lucu. Nah, tiga aja. Kamu pilih tiga binatang yang paling anak-anak suka. Yang paling kamu suka. Oke, okay? gampang ya. Nanti digambarkan di worksheet ini. Begitu anak-anak. Oke, okay. kalau sudah. Selesai penjelasan dari Miss. Kita baca alhamdulillah bersama-sama. Mudah-mudahan field trip kali ini bermanfaat. ya, Dan bisa menjadi pengalaman tersendiri bagi anak-anak. Meskipun tidak langsung mengunjungi tempatnya. Oke. Okay? Terima kasih. Thank you very much for today. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye. Hello Zoo friends. I'm Galo from Research and Education Department. We'll be your virtual tour guide while exploring the zoo. Bali Zoo is a home of more than 450 divers rare, exotic, and endangered animals of more than 65 species from all around the world. Situated on 10 hectares of lush and tropical environment, the zoo is open on 2002 as the first and only Balinese on zoological park. Do you want to see what you can see inside? Come and join me! Here at Bali Zoo, the health, safety, and well-being of our visitors Faunas, communities, and team members are our utmost priority. This is the beginning of your journey, the Deer Park area. Welcome at the Deer Park. I'm here with my friends. I want to give them some snack this morning because they feel very excited, I think. 
And guys, it's not only the deer that you can see at the deer park here, but you also can see the wallaby, white peacock, everything running by free so you can just interact with them like this. Very close seeing their eyes, seeing how they eat, seeing how they move. And let me introduce you to my friend, boy. This is the icon of the deer park. I think he's kind of more than like a boss for me because the icon of the colony. You might interesting or might be curious what else we can see inside at the zoo. So maybe let me give them another breakfast first and then wash my hands and then we're gonna continue our, our journey with me. Silvery Gibbon is unique and endemic animal from West Java where now being endangered, threatened by the illegal pay trade and deforestation. As a conservation institution, our main goal is to preserve wildlife and we are successfully in breeding program of this species. So on July 2019, one of our silvery gibbons named Boris, along with Inga, a female gibbon, who went through the same rehabilitation program, was successfully released in situ Patangan Nature Reserve. Wait, we will see the bird now. We won't miss the chance to meet these exotic birds, isn't it? We can easily find out male or female of this bird because they are the most sexually dimorphic of all the parrot species. This brilliant emerald green plumage is the male, while the deep red or purple plumage is the female. So easy, right? Don't miss out to take photo with these beautiful birds in our photo booth. Let's see the trick of apes now. Let, we have Siamang Gibbons behind me and this is one of my favorite animals here at Bali Zoo. Because whenever they get threatened or maybe too excited, the pouch on their neck can get bigger even three times than their head size. And it can help them to make a very loud sound. Pretty cool, isn't it? On the other hand, Siamang Gibbons also not a monkey because they don't have tail and they have a very long and strong arms to help them move from one branch to another branch with an incredible speed. Let me say hi to one of them. I'm gonna make a sound. Let's wander around here and visit the aviary. Here you'll find ringtail lemurs, an exhibit that zoo visitors can walk through and get nice and close to the striking primates. Everyone loves the busy lemurs at Bali Zoo. They're always climbing, sniffing, and exploring. These animals are never slacking off. Together with King Julian, you'll also meet the wonderful bird of paradise and also Bali Maina as the most iconic bird of Bali. But unfortunately, now being in danger due to habitat loss and illegal hunting. Explore our Kampung Sumatra area with our free shuttle bus. Come to Buffalo House Terminal to get the shuttle bus and enjoy the ride. Welcome to Kampung Sumatra. Here we will see some of endemic animals from Sumatra Island such as sun bear, orangutan, tiger, and also the gentle giant elephant. Let's see! First, let's check out our couple Sumatran tiger, Pandeka and Sean. When you are here, make sure to visit their exhibit since we are the only zoo in Bali which has this species. Sadly, Due to habitat loss and illegal poaching, now these carnivores are critically endangered. Estimated less than 400 species remaining in the wild make Sumatran tiger even more precious. Alright, let's go ahead and visit Lamria, the lovely sun bear. She is 3 years old and was born here. Who doesn't love sun bear, right? In some folk tales, it is said that the U-shape on their chest represents the rising sun. The wonder it's called sun bear, 
while they are also known as honey bears and Malayan sun bears. Her neighbor, the orangutans, aren't less adorable. So let's see them. There are five Borneo orangutans living in Bali Zoo. Two couples, Gofaldara, Septo Septi, and the oldest, Jackie. Gofal and Septo live in this exhibit, and as we can see, they are so playful and sometimes a bit cheeky. Like us, orangutans are the only great apes in Asia, and we actually share about 97% of our DNA and only 3% different with us, which is really cool. The difference is they cannot speak like us. Hi, Eddie. Hi. Selamat pagi. Good morning. Good morning, Susepti. This is our female Borneo orangutan, 11 years old, and she really likes fruits, I think. And the keeper said the favorite food is grapes, but we just have like a food this morning. I think it's something I can see. <laughs> anyway, she really loves to play with Eddie. I think Eddie is her favorite keeper. You can see the player thing from her eyes. Oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> and you back, Susepti. This majestic Borneo orangutan now on the critically endangered status, according to IUCN. We will invite you to experience a thrilling opportunity to a personal encounter and hand feed our gentle giant elephant in Kampung Sumatra. Now say hi to my big friend Terry, 27 years old. Very happy to say hi to you. And this is one of our Asian elephants, especially Sumatran elephants that we have here at Bali Zoo. We have 13 elephants here, 2 males and 11 females. And they can eat up to 250 kilograms per day. Wow! That's a huge of food, isn't it? And they are very happy whenever they play in their ears like this. Can you see? Oh my god, it's so beautiful. They're so nice to meet. And of course, eat a lot of food. This one won't be enough. <laughs> Another more, Terry? Talking about primates, we won't miss this big family of Javanlanger, or we call it as Lutung Jawa. While the adults are black, the babies are bright apricot, and in very rare cases in Eastern Java, they keep the gold fur and freckles into adulthood. Of course, having a bright orange baby helps mom and the other females keep an eye on it. Well, here at Bali Zoo, you even can experience Africa. We have a new exhibit, we call it Savannah, the place for Oba and his friends, our ostrich, to playing around. As we continue, we are going to see the striped hyenas clan. There are four striped hyenas live in Bali Zoo, and actually, they are more solitary than spotted and brown hyenas. Doha and Bahrain live on this trail, swapping exhibit every few hours to make sure they have new areas to sniff and explore. Unlike their noisy cousins, the spotted hyenas, striped hyenas are usually silent. Their loudest call is a rarely heard, cackling howl. Then, here we go! Can you spy our super cutie glorious meerkats mob? Kata, Jack, and Daniel? Well, meerkats are very good at digging burrows. They have long, strong, curved claws. These burrows can be 5 meters long and contain multiple entrances, tunnels, and rooms. The African lion sprite that live here, including Atos, Marcel, Dio, Susia, Tina, and Tini. Do you know, lions are catamera, means that they are active both day and night. But ironically, they can sleep up to 20 hours per day. Lions rest for lots of different reasons, including energy conservation, lack of prey, and to avoid the heat of the day. Now, let's try to feed them closely. Let's head back to Balizu Waterfall and see what's inside this stunning building. 
This waterfall height is up to 15 meters and you are absolutely have to take a picture in front of it. Now, let's go up there! At the fourth floor, you'll see the artificial skeleton of Sabertooth. It belongs to an extinct subfamily of the cat family. With their incredibly long, sharp canine teeth, muscular build, and sharp paws. Their two long canines could grow up to 20 centimeters, which help in cutting and stabbing its prey. At the front, this mammal, who existed from 11 million years ago to as recently as 6,000 years ago in Asia, Africa, and even North America, Stegodon. Both of them now are extinct because of temperature change that significantly affected the vegetation or their food source. Here also, we have two skeletons of monsters, the saltwater crocodile and the Bengal tiger. Next, at the top of this building, the rooftop. Here, we can see the whole area of Kampung Sumatra, and if the weather is good, we can see Mount Agung, the highest mountain in Bali. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to follow our social media as we keep updating about all of those. Bali Zoo, love, conserve, and share. Bye bye!